In this video, you will learn how to find the vertex of a quadratic equation by simply looking at the equation that is written in vertex form. We call this kind of equation vertex form because you don't need to do any work. You can simply look at the equation and be able to write down the vertex. Let me show you how easy this is. In this example, x minus 2 squared plus 5 all you need to do is find the x and y coordinates. The x coordinate is going to be inside here with the x. You see this negative 2. We're going to change this negative 2 to a positive 2. So all we're doing is changing the sign. So if the number on the inside is positive, you will change it to negative. If the number on the inside is negative, you'll change it to positive. The y coordinate is right here. It's positive 5. So the y coordinate stays the same. And here is your vertex. In this example, the x coordinate inside here we have a positive 8. And so remember, inside we are going to change the sign. So this positive is going to change to a negative 8. The y coordinate is this outside number, this negative 2, and the y coordinate stays the same. In this example, we have this extra number on the outside, but that's okay. To find the vertex, we still do it exactly the same way as we have been doing. Inside, with the x, we have a positive 8. So the x coordinate is going to be negative 8 because we changed the sign of the number inside. Now outside for the y coordinate we have negative 2 so the vertex is negative 2. So notice this 7 that is being multiplied has nothing to do with the vertex. This next example is similar to the one we just did. To find the vertex we look at the x coordinate. Inside here with the x, we have a negative 5. So we will change it to a positive 5. Now for the y coordinate, we are going to look over here. This positive 7 will stay the same. Positive 7. And notice this negative 4 in the front has nothing to do with the vertex. So it is not part of our answer. And now we will look at the special cases. The special cases is where most students will mess up. But an easy way to take care of the special cases is simply to ask yourself, what am I missing? Am I missing the x coordinate? Or am I missing the y coordinate? Or am I missing both the x and the y? So let's look at each case. In the first example, we do have an x coordinate because we have a number inside here with the x. This positive 3 will become a negative 3. But what we're missing is that we do not have a y coordinate outside. And so the y coordinate is going to be 0. For the second example, you can see that inside here, we do not have any number that's being added or subtracted to the x. Compare this with example 1. And so the x coordinate is what is missing. So we put a 0. Now for the y coordinate, we do have this positive 3 on the outside. And so for the y coordinate, it's going to be 3 because remember, the y coordinate, the sign does not change. And for this last example, we're actually missing both the x and the y coordinates. Because inside here, we do not have any number here with the x. So the x will be 0. And for the y, we also don't have anything out here. So the y will also be 0. Notice this 3, because it is being multiplied, has nothing to do with the vertex like we have seen in the examples before.